Hey everyone, Game Hunter here, and we have another version of Rogue. What do you know, in this crazy marathon of Rogue that we're doing, um, it, this is 5.4, and it is, as far as I know, the, the latest, well, the last version that the original developers of Rogue ever worked on, before moving on to other things. Whether or not that was gaming, or just jobs or something, because I think this was done during college or whatever, you know, it's... That's just how it goes sometimes. In any case, there are some significant differences, and perhaps the first one you'll notice, let's just start the music to get that moving. Um, the first one you'll notice is instead of instead of AC, we now have ARM, which stands for Armor, <laughs> or Armor. And that is in now, and this is probably a radical change for players uh, before, you know, 5.4, Instead of the lower number the armor is, the better. It's instead now the higher number it is, the better. And in my opinion, this makes better sense. Um, even though maybe it doesn't have a necessary meaning to it entirely. Like, for instance, strength and armor. I mean, how much are you actually hurting these enemies? You don't really get told that. Although you know how much damage you deal, and fortunately numpad seems to be working this time, so... That is awfully nice. Come on. Kill that thing, yeah. Excellent. There's also a button, the F button is now used in uh, fight until... Well, just basically fight continually button. And what that does is means that uh, if you're in combat, you uh, will attack that one spot continuously until either you or the opponent dies. Like, for instance, right there, I had very little choice but to do that. <coughs> so that's how that works. And the game even tells you what your protection is right there. Even though it doesn't have enormous mean meaning, <laughs> it just has enough meaning so that you know higher numbers are better. Um, I'm probably... well, let's see, do I have... Yeah, I'm probably going to die either way, so, yeah. That's how that happened. Uh, unfortunately, when, you know, an opponent gets on you like that, it's... Oh, look, and then the top ten scores actually lets you know that that is where it is. So you can just go ahead and move right into it without it just showing up momentarily on the screen and then you having to check high scores later. Because that's annoying. But in any case, uh, yeah, we still don't have... Or, wait, did, did we have, wait, 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 uh, I can't do it right now, come on, there we go, hmm, oh, wait, that is, what am I looking at there, that's, huh, I don't know what's going on there, that's very odd. And of course, I'm pretty much dead now. Now, the best I can really do in these situations is wait for my health to return. Which is kind of silly, but I mean, it's either that or die, and oh man, I went the wrong direction. Well, I went a different direction. I don't know if it was the wrong one. Oh great. Well, we're gonna just have to see if we win. We won! And we won again. Cool. That was unexpected but hey sure why not I will take it I will take it and run with it even or as you know as best as you can run in this game we are three experience points from leveling that is a, oh great and a hobgoblin just to entertain us hobgoblins and bats litter this floor oh and we killed them and then we leveled very very fortunate oh uh, yeah I guess we'll just fight until we die. That That is a very convenient command, because most of the time you're not going to really do anything. Really? I'm probably going to die, huh? Oh, nope, I didn't. I did not die. Although I'm certainly extraordinarily close to that. Extraordinarily close. So now we have to go ahead and run our way all the way to the next floor. We. What do we have left? We got potion and a single scroll. So, an emu? I don't think, uh, I think E's were eyeballs before. Now we have emu. 
So what are eyeballs gonna be? O's? Q's? Kestrel? Oh yes, right. Um, maybe this is rather... Oh, why did that happen? I mean, okay, sure, why not? But <laughs> I was surprised. Um, yeah, sometimes... It's like I'm getting shift... I don't even know. But I was... I once read that the developers tried to move a little away from... Uh, let's see, is it throw? How do I, like, fire a weapon again? Was it capital F? Which direction? Oh, no. That certainly was not the case then. Uh, although I kind of remember... Yeah, here we go. We can actually take a look at all of the possible commands. And now I am looking for the one that allows me to shoot. Shoot stuff. So yeah, control direction, run that way. Control is run till adjacent. But it doesn't necessarily work for the for the numpad keys. Where's the f button that lets me hit stuff from afar? It wasn't there, was it? Huh. Because there definitely is such a button. I just do not know where I can say that that exists. I guess throw? I'm gonna just have to assume that that's, that's what it is. And we have arrows. I really hope that that's the case. Man, I really suck with a bow. Oh, well, at least I killed him. So that works. <laughs> that works. Okay, so I can I can use control to just work with the those buttons better. So we'll do that for most of the time from now on. And that's good because you know, I didn't really want to have to constantly either be using that button for the hijackable Ubins or you know or just have to move around one leg at a, oh crap one leg at a time. All right, well, I'm still alive at least. All right. I say all right, all right, all the time, maybe. And level four, man. I level up faster in this game. Or, you know, I'm just thinking that I am when in fact I'm not. Okay, but I am hungry, so we gotta go ahead and eat that ration of food. We gotta ration our rations until they have been rationed properly. And there's the rust monster that we all know and hate. Um, so there we go. We got to take it off. Oh, that's a rattlesnake. Maybe I shouldn't have removed it. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I was expecting a rust monster, but that was removed in 5.4. Huh. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and wear it then again. Mr. You. And that rattlesnake poisoned me, so it's not a giant ant this time that's, that caused the poisoning. But rather a rattlesnake. So all of the... I mean, the, the hobgoblin isn't different. It's it's still hobgobbling around. Hobbling its gobbling. I... and... Well, oh, pfft, okay. I tried to fight to the death, and I apparently succeeded in that. So. We're going to just quaff this. What do you want to call it? I want to call it monster detection, because that's what it did. It detected monsters for me. Assuming those are the only monsters left. Hands begin to glow red. I think this was Confused Monster, if, uh, if NetHack serves me well. Alright. And we should go ahead and just heal up a little bit. Oh! Man, that goes fast. That goes super fast. Dang, man. Okay, so we managed to hit... I just skipped a bit because it was getting rather silly. This was dying a few times and... Oh, there we go again. Oh, sometimes the hobgoblin gets you and sometimes you get the hobgoblin. You just never know. You really don't. So you gotta just keep trucking along. But, I mean... It's kind of funny because we, there weren't an enormous number of differences I could see between 3.6 and 5.2, and yet here we are um, 
in 5.4 and all of a sudden there's lots of differences such as what the enemies actually do based on their their uh, their alphabetized did um, you know understanding or their code in the letters their letter code code of letters but even here um, even here there were things that could be improved upon. For instance, the ability to let the player know that, you know, um, maybe you should let the player see how much damage they're causing to the enemy. Even if it's not precise, just some measure as to how close the enemy is to death. Um, as well as, you know, just an, a rough understanding of how tough they are in the first place. Um, and a lot of games, you know, after that, kind of tried to do that, at least with monster descriptions and monster memory and things like that. And that was always, I thought, a really cool ob uh, addition to such video games. Uh, such roguelikes. Angband did it, Adam did it. Uh, well, I don't know how much monster memory goes into Angband, but it's usually fairly obvious because they typically stick to the same roots as. Uh, Lord of the Rings fair and goodness knows if you don't know medieval fantasy well you'll learn it from Aang so but yes uh, oh and level 3 good oh, that was a good HP boost right there um what else to say about this game I mean it follows a very adventure is format and yet it has the uh oh whoa Man, that was that's a look at that maze right here. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's not it's kind of a trivial funness, but it's I like it. Cause look at this. We, we actually have to like get through this invisible maze here that may or may not have a true exit. And that's a rattlesnake, and the rattlesnake has been destroyed and its snakeness behind it has also been taken care of properly. This is a cool. I like. I like the mazes, even if it doesn't really change ultimately what you have to accomplish in the game. It's it's still cool, and that's why I think it's a very nice addition. I'm amazed that the difference between oh crap, I need to eat something. So there we go. Was that my only? That was my only. Huh. And I think banded mail is better than ring. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Protection six. I think in this game there wasn't any sense of speed, so it's just literally better to have... Oh, and there's a trap. We can use the trap command to see what kind of trap it is, and that's a teleport trap. So we probably don't want to use it unless we're in a bind. Which could easily happen. Very good. It easily could. That was another H good HP boost. A very nice HP boost. And the fact that I haven't been taking a lot of damage in the first place is certainly nice. Um, one of the other things, and... You know, it's hard to it's hard to put this describe this properly. Um, is that you kind of want to have a a uh, oh man a user interface? That's the that's the term. You want to have a user interface that is as friendly to the user as possible while still being as functional as you can make it uh, when the player gets actually good at the game. And I would say one of the flaws of Rogue, although certainly it was something... The fact that you had a bunch of commands in these games instead of, you know, text parsering it. Uh, so they wouldn't have necessarily understood it, but having a simple use function for most of these items, or, you know, wear or wield for most of these items, isn't too difficult of a, of a user interface concept. At least now, it's, it's practically a far too obvious these days. Um, back then, the designers of Rogue weren't necessarily into that thing because such a game hadn't existed where you had a bunch of different item types at your command and you had to figure out your way of what you're going to do with all of them. But uh, I think... I think it was something that could have been reasonably expected after a certain amount of time. Um, so I don't know. That's just 
just me thinking about it and probably thinking about it too much because as I mentioned <laughs> this these guys were pioneers at the t oh an ice monster oh great I'm frozen except I can move again okay okay well that wasn't entirely nasty but I guess that's our that's our frozen that's our floating eye at this time but yeah, uh, the reason that the monsters are different, they wanted to distance themselves from Wizards of the Coast, who had created most of the enemies that they were originally using. So then they came up with other stuff, I guess. Although some of it's generic enough that it doesn't matter. That they managed to keep Hobgoblin is surprising, but maybe they thought that was still very Lord of the Rings and wouldn't be too much property and dungeons and dragoning. And uh, musketeering. And like zombies, for instance. I mean, zombies are pretty obvious enemies. The shambling undead. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I would say this is a pretty, a pretty solid... Uh, oh man. A simply so a game that is solid in its simplicity. Uh, we're going to go just go ahead and drop that. But we have a bunch of these, so... I usually like to use scrolls that I have doubles of. Oh, an identify scroll scroll. I am so glad for that identify scroll scroll. What I've... That can't be it. What about the ability to identify literally anything in my inventory? Um... Like, what's Q? Oh, I have to identify... Huh. You have to identify a scroll with a sc an identify scroll. How interesting. Enchant armor? So that's great. Um... I guess there's no reason for me not... Well, technically, yeah, I probably shouldn't have bothered. Any of the duplicates I should just use. Oh, great, I fall asleep. That's fantastic. This is why we like to do this before we get into battle. So we're going to drop that scroll asleep and then continue along. High-pitched humming noise. Uh, we're just going to call it noise. Scrolling noise. Yeah, indeed. A lot of the original... Well, a lot of the earlier descendants of Rogue. You know, direct... Direct family members. You know, no cousins third removed and fourth in line. Um, used a lot of the original components of Rogue. You know, noise... Scroll of Noise, Scroll of Confused Monster, the glowing hand, red glowingness. Uh, what do we have here? Oh yeah, I have to take off first. What was it, G? Oh, it was minus one, crap. Can I, please tell me, ah, great. Which means it's cursed and therefore I can't get rid of it. Oh, that's bad, that is really bad armor right now. I could use enchant armor to make it better, but that's silly. Uh, summon monsters. I should, yeah, I should be able to kill it. <laughs> Quite at the cost of my own health. Identify, oh! Okay, so that's how that works. So that there's, there's specifically scrolls for identifying various things. Potion of healing, good. I, that means I don't have to use it immediately. That's very good. And we have this last one. Ah, now this scroll has a map on it. So that's uh, magic mapping. So maybe it's best to use these scrolls as early as possible and knowing that there's no enemies around to, to make a problem out of them. Oh, we'll put on this ring, whatever. And then we'll try to take it off. Uh, remove. Oh, that one's also cursed. Fantastic. The game doesn't tell me it's cursed, but I can call it cursed. So, you know, cursed. So once I find remove curse, you know that's that's gonna be a big game changer for me, me who has taken quite a bit of cursing at this point. But we gotta find it. Oh, a lep ah, great the leprechauns. Not that they matter that much in this game because gold is only a matter of how much uh, score you get in the end game. So there's there's little point. Otherwise, oh, zombie. Yeah, we'll kill that zombie. We'll kill him like the sun don't shine. 
Because if it did shine, he might turn to dust. Because zombie, and that's how zombies sometimes work. And we only have a slime mold. Man. Not a lot of food in this one. Not a lot of food. But we are slowly working our way to level 6. Which is an important level. Scroll of... Ooh, good scroll of identified potions. Uh, yes. Okay, there we go. Although I would have preferred a potion... A scroll of removed curse, because I think that's what you get in this game. Because that's what you usually got in other games, too. So... Blue potion. Oh, okay. Well, at this point, I might as well. Yep. There we go. Identify. Let's say the tan one. Extra healing. Even better. I don't have to waste that one. Uh, read you and find out that you are. Let's try violet. Restore strength. So different from gaining strength. Quite different, in fact. Different is night and even darker night. Oh, pff. a door with no passage. Surely there would be a, a way around that. But I, I really need to find Remove Curse, otherwise I'm kind of screwed at this point. Like, badly. <laughs> Super badly. Like, the whole excellent hits on me and all that. That's bad news. I have healing potions to deal with most of it, but all the same, we could be looking at some trouble here, guys, for sure. You know, if things don't turn out the way we want them. Oh, crap, a centaur. Um, okay, good. And I leveled from that, and I got more. I got even more HP. Got super HP. Oh, man, a scroll. A scroll that I don't know. Uh, yes, right. Scroll of I... Really? Well, you know, that would have been more useful on the one that was cursed, but it's good to know. Okay, yeah, minus two. That's awful. So, and it's probably cursed in the first place, so... I think anything negative is automatically considered cursed. Uh, the zombie has to go first, right? Yeah. I think usually you, you take care of the stronger enemies first. I don't know for sure. It's usually the most damaging... Oh, wow, okay. Took some damage there. I... <laughs> would have been a smarter idea to have fought uh, to fought that one without doing it constantly because yeah fighting a centaur yes indeed uh, we got a cloth one of them healing potions oh crap Ugh. blast it gotta use extra that didn't even give me a lot oh man really this video game is not being nice. And none of those will help. Okay, that was finally a good good amount. Ah, uh, really? Wow! Man, that centaur took a lot of hits. Centaurs are tough, though. That's for sure. And we're at a good place to stop. This has been Game Hunter playing Rogue version 5.4. Uh, as with all the other versions, you can find this on the Roguelike Restoration Project, uh, which I highly recommend checking out. I'll just put an annotation for it this time, just to make it even easier if you guys use annotations. Uh, next time, we'll be looking at a very different way to play Rogue, if you even want to call it playing it. <laughs> Until then, keep playing those Roguelikes, or not, or something. Just keep uh, and interacting with those Roguelikes, <laughs> and take care.